exceptions, we seldom see the beautiful snowy scenes you'll see this time of year in other parts of the world, so maybe your family might enjoy a snowstorm in a jar. We are getting some help with that from Patrick Taylor, sophomore Mason Mackey this morning, and STEM NOLA's Rebecca O'Lind. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so this is basically a chemistry lesson that we're kind of concealing as snowstorm in a jar, right? <laughs> right. Correct. Yes. Yes. OK, so how are we going to do it? Hey, let's get in here. Ready to make some snow? Ready to make some snow. OK, so I know we call it snowstorm in the jar, but today we're doing snow in the beaker. OK, okay. <laughs> well, it's all good. So we're going to start with a cup of water. While he's doing that, I'm going to be putting on my safety glasses so we make okay. sure that we safety are safe first. as well as fun. Of course, of course. So now we're going to add in our paint. Now the paint is what's going to act as our snow here. You can use any color, but for the purpose of snow, we're going to get some white paint. Okay. Add in about a teaspoon. Let's see if I can get this in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mix that in here. Oh. It's looking kind of thick. There uh -huh. we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to add in our oil. Now this brings in our concept of density. So we know that oil and water do not mix because of polarity. Now, whenever we see oil and water though, oil always sits on top of the water. And this is because oil is less dense than water. So as you can see, the separation between the oil and water right here. Mm -hmm. See that? So you can fill in about the rest of the jar with the oil you have. And we used uh, vegetable oil here, but you can use other types of oil. We were talking earlier like about maybe baby oil, oil so it's clear instead of yellow. Right, right. Okay. So now let's get into the magic. Let's make some snow. Okay, so now we have our alka seltzer tablets, okay? And these contain an acid and a base. So when they mix with water, a chemical reaction is going to take place. Okay. And the byproduct of that should be carbon dioxide gas. Okay, you see the little bubbles right there? Mm-hmm, I see them. All right, so that's the carbon dioxide gas that is forming. That's going to serve as our snow. So carbon dioxide is a gas, of course, and it's less dense than both the water and the oil, so it rises to the top. And it gets top heavy because it's bringing the paint from the bottom. And when it bursts, the paint comes back down, and that creates the effect of snow. Hmm. Sort of like a, a snow jar. Right. Or a, yeah, a snow globe. That is so cool. And the more Alka-Seltzer that you add, the more violent the uh, the bubbles will be. <laughs> so if you want to see a lot of snow, you can add a lot of Alka-Seltzer. Exactly, right. exactly. If you want something kind of like the Nor'easter. The, the <laughs> we North definitely has. don't want to see that outside here. We don't so want to see that. This is your that, opportunity. Yeah, we'll, we'll bypass that, exactly. And the fun thing is with the different food coloring uh, options there, you can make it, you know, red or green to kind of get you in the holiday spirit if you want to do that with your kids, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and this is just one example of the many things that we do here at STEM NOLA. So we mm -hmm. have a STEM Saturday coming up uh, January 16th where we'll be making lungs. Uh, and so we'd love for folks to come and join us and do more of these wonderful experiments. You're making lungs. Now that sounds intriguing. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. And so many kids, Rebecca, benefit from these STEM NOLA programs. I mean, it's just incredible, and I'm sure it leads to a lot of kids uh, pursuing careers in this line of work. Yeah, it really is. There are so many things, and a lot of people don't think about the different kinds of careers that we have in STEM, but it really is such a vast um, field and, and really exciting and engaging. And so we hope to bring that to students every time that we work with them. Absolutely. Mason, are you maybe considering a line of work in the science field now? Most definitely. Ever since I started going to STEMNOL, I mean, all the activities that expose you to different areas of yeah. science, technology, engineering, and math, I mean, either way, it's, it's going to be nice. I'm going to go into that field. Absolutely. Well, Mason and Rebecca, thank you so much for your time, and we appreciate you showing us how to make snow. Absolutely. Thank you yes. so much for having us. Thank, thank you. you.